Hello, ACL here. In this video, we're going to be talking about string searching in a hex editor. And for those of you who don't know what strings are, it's basically just a fancy way of saying text in a computer encoded by bytes, meaning numbers that represent letters. And so what we're going to be doing is finding information we want to edit by searching for relevant text. And the game we're going to be doing is Dink Smallwood, and I actually added an, a simpler game just to demonstrate a basic case called Secret Mario Chronicles. This game is free. It's not the real Mario. It's, a, it's some sort of knockoff. And there's a download page, and again, for those of you that are lazy, I'll put a link in the description. And so if we hop into the game and start it, um, we can notice at the top of the screen there's various stuff we would want to edit. Points, coins, uh, lives, so on. So what we're going to want to do is open up HXD, find the save file. I've already done that. Uh, bonus points if you can do that yourself. If not, you can look up at what I have written here. It's C, users, your name, app data, roaming, SMC, save games, and then one dot save. That's quite ridiculous. As I, as I said in the last video, the save file locations can get really crazy, which is why it's vital to be able to find them yourself. Anyhow, so what we're going to want to do first is go over to the ASCII interpretation, which is this over here of the bytes, and we're going to want to click somewhere and hit Control F, Control Find. And we're going to want to search for lives. And you see we found a match. And it says property name, lives, uh, value equals 3. Pretty safe to assume that this is probably the life value. So let's try and change it to 999. If you notice, if I just start typing, it's overwriting things. Which is, it'll corrupt our save file if we just accept that. So we're going to have to go in and actually insert some additional data into this file. So we're going to go into edit, insert bytes, and we're going to insert two bytes. So byte count two. Everything else can be left the same. And now we can overwrite these with more nines. And we can go ahead and save this. Go into the game and reload the file. And you notice at the top of the screen the lives is now 999. That was very straightforward, very simple. Uh, however, it's not always so simple. <clears throat> and Dink Smallwood is a very good game to demonstrate that, and that's why I picked this game. Lots of little things they throw at you that you have to learn. So, what you're going to want to do, go to the start of the file, hop into the game real quick to get an idea of what we want to search for. Here we have attack, defense, magic, life, coins, uh, all of these have zero values. You generally don't want to edit things with zero values, and that'll become more intuitive later. So we're probably going to want to search for attack first. Life has a non-zero value, but it's an unknown value because it's a bar. We have no clue. This could be a hundred, ten, you know, a million, anything. So let's try and find attack. First thing that happens, no matches. And that's a little okay. So let's let's try let's try something else. Let's try defense, and we we got a match. If you look around defense, you see current weapon, current magic, gold, experience, all the stuff we noticed here. But then you see strength. Um, and what this actually is is this is attack. They just have it saved under a different variable name, which is why string searching is a very weak form of hacking. Uh, you're, you're basically at the mercy of how lazy the programmer was. If he named everything on the screen exactly what it is in the save file, then you're great. Otherwise, you're lost. He could have named attack bananas, and that would have been perfectly acceptable which is you just can't rely on string searching but it's a it's a fine place to start and it generally works but for more advanced hacks it won't be viable so let's look at strength here and you notice you don't see any numbers on this side and the other one we had 
lives equals three or something similar, like uh, something similar to that. But here we just have and strength, and then other things. So what we want to actually do is go over to this display because it, instead in this game the the value is being stored as raw bytes instead of clear text. So we're going to be going over to the byte display and looking around. So we have strength here. And if you look afterwards, you don't really see anything but zeros, but before, there's a 3 right here. And this is likely to be our value. So if we change it to the highest uh, hex number, let's change it to FF for now. Save it. Go over here. We're going to want to reload this file. And we have 255 attack, which is ff converted to decimal so great let's try changing it to 999 now that's a little more tricky so we go into our calculator we type 99 oh, here we go 999 and then we hit the hex button to convert it to hex so we have 3e7 or 03e7 if we want to keep the correct number of uh, digits 03e7 and you notice they have zeros here for us to overwrite uh, so we don't have to insert data. Of course, we don't always know if how the game reads in the save files, so it's always good to keep a backup. In this particular case, I already know. So I changed that to 03E7. I'm going to want to quit and reload. So let's go into the save file. And something crazy just happened. Now instead of 999, we have 59,139. And to kind of understand what's going on, let's try converting that number to hex. 59139. That's E703, but we put in 03E7. These are the same bytes, but reversed. Um, and the reason for that is a concept known as endianness. It basically, it just, endianness is the order in which bytes are read. There's big endian and the little endian. I forget which one's which, but they're the opposites. One of them is normal. I think big, big Endian is normal left to right, and little is the other way around. I could be mistaken. But this basically means that any time we change a value, we're going to have to put in the bytes backwards. So we're going to want to put in E703. And this is only for certain games. Some games use one convention, some games use another convention. It basically just depends on how the program reads in the save file. Uh, you have There's no way to know in advance if it's Big Endian or Little Endian, so you just have to try them both and see what happens. So we can save this, go ahead and quit the game, load it in, and we should have 999, and we do. So that worked, pretty straightforward, a little tricky, uh, and it gets trickier. We'll definitely cover some more tricky stuff later, but that's it for this video. Alright, thanks for watching, farewell.